<laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Um, Dad said you were out so I could have the living room. Well, um, I'm back now and I have a friend round, so can you please go to your room? To know you had a sister? Oh, I don't. My mum's dating her dad, so... They've been together for six years and they're getting married. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah, but still, you're not my sister. I just mean we have nothing in common, that's all. Oh, don't say that. There must be something. What's your name? Sarah. What's your favorite... sex position? What are you doing? I'm just asking. She's 13. Oh God, I'm just joking. That's not very funny. What is that? That's mine. Is that a diary? Stop! Stop! Stop. What are you doing? D. Can we have a minute, please? Really? Yes, just please. Who is this? Sarah. You can't do this, do you understand? Are you even listening to me? You do it. I, I don't. You do, I've seen you. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You started last year. So you're spying on me? No, I just- I don't want to hear it. I just wanted to be like you. You, you don't like me. I like you. It doesn't feel like it. You're six years younger than me and we have nothing in common, but that doesn't mean I don't like you. Sarah, this, this isn't good for you. Then why do you do it? You wouldn't understand. You can try and explain it to me. I hate this. It's okay. Take your time. Have you ever felt alone when you're surrounded by people? It's like you look around the room and not a single person there really knows you or knows what it's like to be you. And, you know, I try and join in, say all the right things, laugh when I'm supposed to, but it's hard because I always feel like I'm two steps behind. <laughs> Whoever came up with the phrase, be yourself and people will like you, such a liar because in order to fit in, you have to change. So that's what he did. I still feel so alone.
No, you're a royalist. No, I'm not. She is. Who is? What are you talking about? What is that? Diana. It's the cat. She's dead. No, that's not. Yes, Adam. You killed your boss's cat. No. Oh, thank God. It killed itself. What? To spite me. Adam. It's left a suicide note. Observe. Cat scratches. I hate Adam. Goodbye. I mean, what the what fuck? What the fuck? No, Adam, you. We need to get rid of the body. Could you please just do it? Me? You're the one that killed the thing. Suicide! Whatever. It's not my problem. Why should I do it? You don't understand, Camilla, okay? She loved that thing. She did cat yoga with it. She, she gave it filtered water. Please. 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 Please, please, please. Okay, oh, fine. Just... Ooh. Ooh. Actually, no. You only ever call me when you need something. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Lily, can you come get rid of this dead cat for me, please? I don't talk like that. I don't talk like that. What about last week, then? You needed spare clothes. I fell in a puddle. That's my point. This is different, okay? That's a dead ah. cat. Shh. You know, you don't do it. Shh. Shut, Shut up. up! Was that the doorbell? No. What are you watching? Oh, um, don't know. I'm not really watching it. Can you turn it off then? Because I need to talk to you. Okay. What's up? Where are my earrings? I don't know. Don't act as if you don't know. I know you've taken them. Don't know anything about your earrings. I just got back in the flat now. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't believe you. What are you trying to say? I mean, who else would take them, huh? Watch it, Sasha. Okay, I'm not a thief. So prove it then, Marilyn. Let me look in your precious bag. You've got to be joking. No, I am dead serious right now. These earrings are my family heirloom. I don't know anything about your family heirloom. Look, I've had a really rough day already. So please, can we just drop this? If this is about the money, I'll just give it to you. I won't even get the police involved. Police? I just want them back. I've had enough of you throwing your weight around here. I'm not a thief, and I certainly don't need your money. Just give it to me. Get off! No, just give it. I mean it, stop! If you have nothing to hide, then I don't see the problem. 
No. Fucking fine then. Sasha, stop! Give Get it off! To me. Get off! You're gonna Give break it. it! What have you done? Thought you said she was in. Dom? I lied, she didn't know. Well, it's your lucky day then. Answers for tomorrow's test. Are you mental? Hey, don't call me that. Why did you bring this to me? I'm sorry, I- Sorry, you're sorry! Do you have any idea what could happen if someone found out? But no one needs to find out. <laughs> oh my, my lord, my mum's gonna kill me. No one ever needs to know. He can put them back first thing in the morning. Yeah, it's easy. Just distract your dad again and I'll slip in. I'll take it back. I, I don't want to see it. That's not your call. You made it my call by bringing it to me. I was trying to help. Help, you ruined everything. Do you know how hard I've worked this year? The kind of pressure I've been under. Yes! Yes, that's why I'm showing it to you. Of all people, I know what it's like to have parents to push you to be better, to succeed. It's never good enough. You're sick. Well, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I can't breathe. Whoa. What's happening? She's having a panic attack. Look, Ellie, I'm sorry, but please... DON'T TOUCH ME! Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got you involved. Just please calm. Breathe. Do you know how hard I've worked for these exams? So have I, Ellie. But it's, it's different for me. God, you have no idea. Information doesn't just go in for me, okay? I need to come up with new insane methods to trick my brain into absorbing things. Do you, do you know what that's like? To have to trick your own mind? Like it's some five-year-old child that wants to throw a tantrum every time you do something it doesn't like. It's exhausting. And if I do ever manage to get it to learn something, I fuck up in another way. Like answering the wrong question, which I did on the English mock. I'm sick, Ellie. But Dad, Dad thinks that ADHD is an imaginary condition invented by lazy people. So getting help isn't really an option. So failure isn't an option. Sorry I made you take them. I'm not. No offense, but you guys got it good. I mean, pass or fail, it makes no difference. Your dad's ahead. 
He's not going to kick you out even if he wanted to. And you, I've seen where you live. Richest girl in school. Everyone knows that. What's your point? Look at me. You think I get half the opportunities you guys get? You think the best universities want people that look like me? Because I can tell you right now, they don't. I'm good for nothing if I don't get every single answer right. Come on, I'm sure that's not true. No? Question. What made you ask me to steal these? I don't know. I oh, don't... come on, man. I can take it. I've been dealing with this shit my whole life. Yeah? So I thought, 